this competition was both complex and simple if you had the nerve to pop a pimple. Michelle, correct. Congratulations. You are the new head of household. Shima, hand over that key to the HOH bedroom to Michelle. Congratulations, Thank you, You're welcome. I won HOH. I've been waiting for this moment since I entered the Big Brother house. I was worried that, you know, I'm never going to win HOH, and now I'm the HOH queen. Woo! Oh. Michelle won HOH, and I was happy, and I was a little distraught at the same time because I thought I had Russell. I thought I had him out of the door. I truly and honestly did. Maybe Michelle will come through for us. I don't know. I'm nervous as hell because Michelle is somebody I have had verbal arguments with in the past. I do need to start making steps with her. Out of all the people in the house, with Michelle winning, it is the most biggest question mark possible as far as what the HOH is gonna do. Who knows what's going on in Michelle's head? Me and Michelle don't have an official agreement in here, I think is the pinky swear, but we have a mutual respect for each other, which I think will carry me through this week, and that's all I could ask for. I, I really thought I was leaving. You had me so fooled. I had no clue. That was the best move of the game. I'll tell you that much. Jeff decided to use his mystery power, the coup d'etat. It really showed that he was willing to make bold moves in this game to get ahead and protect his allies. So kudos, Jeff. You could say what you want to do in life and talk and talk and talk. Unless you change, you got it. It will never change. And Jesse was walking straight to the finals. Four. So I opened the door up for everybody in the house, even though they don't want to see it right now. Nobody else was touching that money in this whole house. Just so before everyone starts throwing their stones and bashing me for no reason. She's gonna come out, you know, just I don't care. I have to deal with it all week long. They're having a pity party because they don't have the numbers, they're pissed at me. Why are you pissed at me for? Because now you don't run the whole house, it's even. <laughs> How do you think we felt when every single one of our people left and we sat outside and nobody talked to us? Now you take a chance in the corner. Michelle's gonna put me out. I know, but not to her. No, they're all, it's them four. Like, they're all together. Oh, the, the people that were calling her crazy are up in her ear right now? You're absolutely nuts. I'm not you're, nuts, you're, Russell. You're crazy. You need medicine. You really think she's gonna That's be okay with Russell again? Yes. Yeah. You think I so? Think After all of that? I believe in karma. There's other, there's HOH next week, there's HOH the week after no, that. And you, you do know if I win again, Russell's going up again. And again, and again, until I get him out. I'll talk to Michelle. Make sure you don't come across like you're telling her what to do. The house would be better off without Russell here. All we can do is push Russell, push Russell, push Russell. I push Russell in front of Russell's face. You do realize that. Picture. You look cute in that picture. You look so cute. I like your babies. <laughs> Michelle has two See? children? <laughs> no, that's my nephew. You're so cute, blonde. Is that the boy? Where is he? That's him. And that's See, my I... father in law and my brother in law. Michelle, your husband's so handsome. He is cute. There's a rat here. Oh, he is. He brought my rat. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this rat look real, though? It's funny to see how the other half of the house is trying to be Michelle's best friend. And all of a sudden, everyone in the house loves rats because Michelle loves rats. They don't care. They're just trying to kiss ass. Letter. This is long. Michelle, I'm so proud of you. If you're reading this, then it means you've kicked ass in your competition earlier and won HOH. It's just impossible for me to tell you how much you mean to me and how much I miss you right now. 
my husband, wrote a really thoughtful and amazing letter. We have an amazing marriage and I just love him so much. I know you've got a lot to think about in that house, but hopefully when things get really intense, you'll take comfort in knowing that no matter what happens, you have someone devoted to you who would do anything to make you smile. Keep kicking ass and having fun. <laughs> Anyways, I should go or else I won't stop writing. Love you, Tim. I miss him a lot and he just reminded me why I'm in this game and I know that he's at home supporting me and cheering me on. That was a great letter. Oh my goodness. I just thought she was going to say anything she can. Put me and you up, we're like... <laughs> well, I'll give you my word on this. If by some odd chance me and you are both up there and uh, and we are playing for the POV. It, if I win it, and I'll give you my word right now, I'll give it to you. Dude, I don't think we're gonna be up, man. I, I really don't. I'm, I'm just telling you right now, if something crazy is to happen, both of us go up, and I win the POV, I will hand it to you even though I'll still be on the block, and I'll probably go home. It's just about keeping your word, and you did to me. So it's kinda like, I'll keep going back and forth with you as long as you keep doing it with me. Okay, I think we're just getting paranoid. And if we're not, what am I supposed to do, man? That was my last play. I don't even want to talk negative like that, but if she wants to get me, she got me. Michelle is a little bit of a wild card. I don't know where she stands. I mean, she's really hard to read. I'm unsure what's gonna happen, but it's kind of a 50-50 crapshoot at this point. I'm just rolling the dice and I'm thinking, man, I hope it doesn't come up snake eyes.